All right, guys, today we're going to make some scallops, and we're going to do a simple recipe with just some salt, pepper, and garlic for the seasoning. Uh, to begin with, when you get your scallops, they usually come like this and not have the shells or anything. If you do get them in the shells, you're going to have to deshell them and everything. But from here, you're going to want to search around, and you'll find the adductor muscle, and you just want to pinch that off. Some of them might not have it. This one doesn't have one. This one has one. And this one doesn't have one. Sometimes they will have fallen off during processing. And then we're just going to go ahead and add on a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. If you want, you can use real garlic. Uh, you know, mince up some fresh garlic. Of course, this is real, it's just dried, but mince up some fresh garlic if you want and uh, put it in the pan or put it on, on just like we are doing now. And you could, you know, use fresh garlic as well. I'm using the uh, powdered garlic just for simplicity. And that's basically all we have to do now to get them ready. And next step is get over to the stove, heat up your pan to a medium high heat, get it all hot and add in some oil. We'll go to the stove and take a look at the next step. Alright, so we're at our stove now and we have our pan at a medium high heat with our oil in it, olive oil. And we're going to go ahead and put on our scallops now that it's all heated up. So we'll just drop those in. Now we're just going to sear them on each side. It should take about three minutes per side. Uh, and we'll see by the color changing based on about when you should flip them. We'll go ahead and show you the color they should be when we flip them. But we're going to go ahead and let these cook for a minute. And when I flip them, I'll turn the camera back on so you can see when. Alright, now you can kind of see the color turning a little more white instead of this golden color. And we're going to flip them. You know what, I'm seared and not burned, but a nice sear on both sides. And basically, we're just going to flip them now. Took them about three more minutes on this side. Alright, after about three more minutes, they'll be done. And we'll go ahead and take them out now. Take a look at them on a plate. And here is our finished product amazing looking. Gonna go ahead and let them cool down and then take a bite. I'm sure it'll be awesome. Have any questions let me know. Happy cooking. See y'all later.